Big old bell. Big old bell. Cameron, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, Sophia. Hi, guys. How are you Hi, how are you? <clears throat> are you for us? If, if you want to. Hi, how you doing? I feel like I'm here. I feel like I'm on a newsstand. Hey. <laughs> yeah, well, I like holding them. That's why I got them. So, yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about because your character is really into STEM? And there's like not as many women that get those opportunities in STEM. So, you know, what that meant to you to potentially inspire young girls to pursue those interests in math and science. Well, that is a really good question. Um, being a uh, women in STEM was a big... I actually am pursuing STEM in real life because I do... My backup plan is a doctor. But um, STEM was always a really big part of TIFF. And I loved that I got to be one of the few and far between girls who get to portray women in STEM and I love TIFF's intelligence and it really did mean a lot to me because I feel like having TIFF when I was earlier in my life would have been another reason why I would have gone into STEM like that representation means so much in this industry because the media is where a lot of um, influences start so I loved portraying TIFF and getting to possibly be representation and an influence for some of the young girls in young women. Up now. It's really, I'll just, I'll just jump in about Tiff, it's really just, it makes you feel so good to see her tackling the world, she's just jumping in and getting right in there and I love that. Yeah. Well, you're tackling too, you're on motorbikes, you're fighting people, like, <laughs> literally tackling, but, yeah, yeah. but yes. Did you get to really fight on those motorbikes or was it like all stuck that was uh, on the motorbike for, for the actual stuff on us. It, they had us on a rig where we were sitting on the bike technically, so I guess I can say I was on one, but it was on a little square block kind of thing being pulled. Yeah. But the bikes were, the bicycles were, we actually did that. Yeah. <laughs> we did all of our own stunts unless they were very dangerous and we were not allowed. <laughs> or if they were illegal to do, like drive a car. <laughs> like <there are> <laughs> yeah. so each of the girls goes on a personal journey of self discovery. Was there anything that you learned about yourself through these characters? <laughs> I would say the show opened up a lot of philosophical questions for me because we do go to the future. And I feel that opened up those questions for me like, what if I wasn't content with who I became? What if my future self is different than I would have, than I expect now? But I also figured out answers to those questions like, as long as future me is happy, I'm happy. But, um, yeah, I would say that it just opened up stuff like that for me to experience internally. Yeah, I'm... I would say for Mac, something I guess that I... Hmm, I'm gonna say this. So, Mac has the delightful habit of being in the moment. She doesn't seem to worry a whole lot about what's ahead of her, what am I gonna become, what is... What is she seems to... She seems to just take the take things as they come. You know, she rolls with the punches a lot. She's very stubborn, but she she has sort of a roll with it quality that I really admire and I hope to I hope to obtain that same quality someday. Sophia, how did it feel reading that script knowing what was gonna to happen to your character in the future? It it's I don't wanna spoil anything. But I'm going to say it really had my heart and it really, you're going to have to watch it. Yeah. Oh, God, I can't, I, I'm so tempted to, right, right. I would say that Mac has had it rough and you really, you feel, you feel for her for that. And you hope that, you hope that it can get better for her. Uh, Cameron, why is your character so bossy in the show? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tiff is just, she's used to kind of being overlooked, I would say, because she's a only child, her parents work a lot, nobody's really listening to her thoughts, so I feel her aggression and her being bossy is her way of trying to be heard, and yeah. There you go. <laughs>
What was it like um, playing characters that live in the 1980s? And would you want to bring anything back? As far as depicting a character from another another generation, I would say just. I was telling, I was talking to Cameron earlier. We were saying it's it's so funny if you look at a Polaroid picture or a medieval portrait. It's so interesting that you immediately just you see what they're wearing. Oh, that was back then. And very seldom do you really dive deep into who was that? What were were they thinking when they were getting this? photo taken, you know, just actually exploring who the person is as an individual and not just kind of glossing over it with the the styles of the time, you know. And I'd want to bring back 80s music and maybe some of the some of the clothes, yeah. Yeah, portraying an 80s character meant some really fun research. And I mean, the comic books were amazing. The source, you can't get better than the source material. But I would ask my parents, because they were alive during the 80s, um, and I would, um, I would research music like When Doves Cry by Prince and like Two Colors and Lopper. And I would also look at movies like Coming to America and Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon. Like, I would get into things that I think Tiff would like as a character. And that was really fun for me. And as for stuff that I would bring back, it would be the walkie-talkies and, like Sophia said, the music. So why should everyone watch Paper Girls? I mean, everyone can find a piece of themselves in this show, I would say. Like, no matter who you are, there is a piece of yourself in this show. Plus, I think it's an unforgettable action-packed adventure that you're not going to want to miss. Yeah, exactly what she said. I would say that if you like, just like Cameron was saying, there's something in it for everyone. If you like special effects, we have amazing special effects. If you like coming of age stories, you're going to fall in love with these guys. Thank you. I, I would say there are so many layers to this show. You're going to find one of those layers that you like, if not more than one. Yeah, well, it's a great show. Like, I really enjoyed watching it. I didn't know what it was going to be, but then I just, like, I couldn't stop. And it was fantastic. Especially the scene where you're all trying to figure something out. It's not going to specify, but that was such a funny scene. It was very well done. And it's nice to have some comedy in the mix of all the drama. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic job. Like, from all Thank you, girl. Thank, Thank you. you. Did they have you smoking real cigarettes in the show? <laughs> well, actually, that's a funny... No, no. They, they, <laughs> no, they... They didn't, no, it was all faked, but up, it's nice because naturally I, I sound like I smoke, so <laughs> that translated pretty well, I think. Thank you guys. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bell.